Hello and welcome again to another edition of Nature's Glory Cabin Hiking Edition. This is where we try to go on hikes that just about anybody can do. We call it Old People Trying to Hike. I believe we're up to, uh, this is uh, Season 1, Episode 6, I believe. Today we're doing the Shell Toey Trace Suspension Bridge Trail, which is also called a connector. Down in the description, there's a lot more information as well as some links to some of the uh, maps and information about the area. This is a pretty easy hike that we're going to do. Again, we start at the trailhead here off of 715. This is pretty close to Highway 77 going toward the Glady uh, uh, Center where the uh, Welcome Center is. You read the signs here. This is at the beginning of the trailhead. And we're going to take a walk about two miles. We'll go about a mile in and a mile back. Uh, this actually continues on, this trail does. So I'll point out a couple of other things as we go. I'll sped this up a little bit in a few places, and I'll try to point out a few things as we go that you can see from here. As you can see, this is pretty easy so far. Some routes you gotta watch out for. There's a couple of places that are washed a little bit. We used our uh, hiking poles to kind of help steady us in a couple of places. And we continue through here, you see some rock features on the left, big rock on the ground. And up here to the right, we're going to see, at some point, I believe we have a picture of chimney rock that you can see from this area. This time of year, it shows up pretty well. And continue on down the trail. This took us a couple hours. We weren't in a big hurry. We stopped, took pictures, and looked around a little bit. If you look up the hill here to the left, toward back toward the road, during a wet season, there'll be water running down that, and this can be pretty slick. On the other side, there's a beach, and this is the Red River. That's our destination. That's where we're going to go. That big rock you see ahead, that's called Jump Rock. A lot of people jump off that into the water, and it's uh, pretty deep right there. And there's Chimney Rock. That's a pretty good ways away as you go up 715 past Sky Bridge. See a little washout right here. Be careful of a few of these places. It's pretty dry today. This was in a right around Thanksgiving. And we're kind of motoring on down through here. As you can see way up ahead there, you can see the uh, suspension bridge coming into view. And we're getting a little closer. I'll slow it down here. You can see there's some rocks you gotta climb over to get up to the uh, actual bridge. There's also a trail that goes up to the left. That goes up and across to another direction. We'll get up here and you'll see the sign. I believe we have a little description here. Yeah, Corner Ridge to the left, 10 miles. Tunnel Ridge Road to the right, 5 miles. And we're going to cross the bridge. Notice here on the bridge, you'll see a white triangle. That's a blaze with a trail marker. And the turtle means it's part of Sheltoe Trace. Sheltoe Trace is marked with those turtles. Sheltoe means turtle. And we'll look up and down the Red River here. It's pretty low right now. This is probably 36 to 40 inches wide. And it does bounce a little bit as you walk across it. As 
we get to the end here, the trail turns to the right and goes down the hill. You see the bunker there. And we change a little bit here, you'll see it again. And we're going to go down and around this tree, pick the direction you want to go. There's a washout up ahead here. See the blaze again, it marks the trail and the turtle. And I walk up to it and I look up and down it, but you don't actually see me crossing it because I needed both my hands uh, to get across with my walking pole. It's probably three feet or so deep. No water in it today. And we're moving right along after we cross. It's a pretty level trail. There's a few spots here and there, like that one we just crossed. Where we go, I'm sure it gets rougher as you get up into the trees in Almore, if you go further than we go. I'm told that this will actually go in the direction of Cloud Splitter. Now we're going to walk off over here and take a look over to the river, and we're starting to look for a way to get down to the beach. It's a little steep and that's not actually the beach we're looking for. And just a view of a big tree. You notice there's nothing up in the forest up there except forest. Now we're coming up to another spot. And at first glance this here looks pretty wet and you can't tell how deep it is. Uh, I used my pole as a probe and it turns out it was very shallow and there's just a little bit of water running through so it was a pretty easy crossing. And we're across and moving right along. And we come to another spot, very similar to the last. These poles come in handy to navigate and probe around, see how deep things are. These leaves can be piled pretty deep if you're not ready for it. So we cross it, and notice there's some roots here. Use those little stair steps to get up. Not too much effort. And we're going to start to come into an area with some rock features. We're going to take a little pause here and kind of take a closer look at this tree growing out of this rock. Interesting how they can do that. Go a little bit further then we'll look back again. Just taking in the view. That up to the right, that's jump rock. A lot of people climb on that and jump into the water there. There's a fairly deep pool at the base of that rock to the right, not the left. Now as we get up here, on the left side, the hillside is littered with boulders. We've got a few pictures coming up here of some of the boulders on the side of the hill. That's up the hill away from the river. We didn't actually climb on the rock, but another couple on our way back did. A fun fact, back in the 70s, they used to go up here and we went swimming off that rock. There wasn't many people up here in the 70s. Yes, that was a long time ago. Well before most of this area was discovered by people. Now here we are, we're getting close to the beach. We're trying to find a way down 
to the water. Here's a couple of spots here. This is one I believe a lot of people take this one. I just thought I'd find something that was a little bit easier. So here we are. We went around the other side of the trees and we're down. We'll show that path I took on the way back. We're just going to kind of walk around here. A lot of times the water's up over this. That pool of water there is usually underwater. And we're looking back across the other side of the river where we came from. And we're going to walk down on this end of the beach. And we'll get a closer look at Jump Rock from this vantage point. And just ahead there you can see that other area where you could have come down to this little beach area. And I believe people have been camping here. There's some uh, what look like campfire remnants. And just take a nice little leisurely walk. It's a fairly good sized little beach here. It's pretty rocky. I call it a beach. Not very sandy. You look across the other side, you can see that area I said sometimes can be wet with a waterfall. And we're looking back in the direction of the parking lot down the river. back up here the way we came. Grab our hiking poles on the way up. I scraped some leaves out of the way here so we can get up a little better. And we're going to kind of just work our way back through. This is how I came down. I didn't show that, but it's a little, uh, looks like a user trail. You, you can't miss it. If you want to come the other way, feel free. We get back up here to the trail. You go right to continue on the trail. We're going to go left and head back the way we came. I didn't uh, film a lot of this. You'll skip most of it and we'll pop up. There we are on the other side now already. Looking back toward Jump Rock and working our way back toward the parking lot. Pretty easy trail, about two miles round trip. Nice little walk. A few spots here and there. Some of it can be slick when it's wet. Work your way through it, use poles. And be careful, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this one. And here we are working our way back toward the parking lot. Appreciate everybody watching. Watch for us the next time. We'll see if we can't get something else fun to do. Thanks for watching.